In this short tutorial, we'll just take a look at um, just take a look using this image at um, at uh, balancing the tones and the colours of a, um, of a of an image in preparation for compositing and visual effects. So essentially, I mean, there doesn't look anything wrong with this image uh, as as it uh, as it currently stands, but um, but it's certainly not balanced in terms of its tonality. Um, and uh, and typically, what would happen in in the digital intermediate process is this would be uh, this would be neutralised in terms of uh, in terms of tonality and in terms of colour um, before transcribing and sending off to the various departments. So, just let we take a look at how to do this using Nuke. So, I'm just going to select the uh, the read node and type G to add a grade node. Okay. Now the first things that we would want to do with this is that we would want to set the black point and the white point, um, and this is obvious. What what we're doing here is we're, t we're we're choosing the darkest pixels of the image, and I'm just looking around for some particularly dark areas, possibly around here, um, and we're telling the darkest image, uh, darkest parts of the image to be black, and then we're telling the lightest parts of the image, which probably we'll be looking at this part of the uh, of the top. Um, we're telling those to be white, and that will basically set the tone for the image. So we'll do this now. So we will click the the, the swatch by the black point here to um, to activate this particular uh, this particular color value, and then I'm just going to hold down Shift and Control, and I'm just going to draw a little little marquee in that area and just define that as being my dark area and you can see that what Nuke has done is basically set the parameters of the colors that are within the threshold inside that box the average and it's set those across the red green and blue channels so I'm just going to turn that off to disable it now if we just toddle the gray toddle the, the grade on and off you can see actually quite quite little difference has, has been made there to the uh, to the to the to the tonality. Let's do let's repeat this now on the white. We may get a slightly different result. Again I'm gonna hold down shift and control. I'm just gonna pick and try and get myself a nice range of whites across that across that image. Okay, so that's picking up on some of these lighter areas. Okay, you can see that that's set the values in there. It's quite blue. You can see that that actual white there was quite blue. Anyway, we'll we'll deactivate that now. And we can see now this is the state of the image. You can see it's quite badly blown out at this stage, but we're we're now going to deal with the color tonality. So I guess what we need to think about here is what's going to be the uh, what's going to be the dominant um, part of this image that's going to lead our eye. Um, I would say this is probably going to be the, the the face. So I'm going to look to pick a skin tone around the face. Again, I'm going to hold down Shift and Control and select a range of skin tones. To be, to be selected there and I'm actually going to start to tonally balance this within the gain property so so I'm just going to activate my act, activate my gain in fact before I do this let's just take a look at the averages that are within this box down here in the red green and blue channels okay we can see that we've got a value of over 0 0.6 on the red channel 0 0.3 on the green and 0 0.2 on the on the blue channel so to balance this tonally, that would suggest that we need to reduce the. If we if we take, for example, we take the greens as being around about 0 0.31, 0 0.32, as being sort of the um, the uh, the target, it would mean that we would need to reduce the reds by uh, until they achieved a similar target to this, and then increase the blues until we achieved achieved a similar target to this. So let's try this and see what happens. So we'll activate the gain. I'll need to come down. Uh, and open up the channels and now I'm just going to reduce this down whilst looking at this color value down here so I'm just going to bring this down a little bit until we get somewhere near 3 can you see the image looking very green at the moment okay it's just a little bit tricky getting it that's not bad okay and now I need to increase the blue get that up to that value okay so we can now select the gain and turn it off now and you can see now that we've got a color tone balanced image we could if we wanted to now maybe make some you know we could maybe just bring the bring the the, the multiply down a little bit or we could maybe bring down the midtones a little bit with the with the, using the gamma, but uh, 
but I wouldn't do anything anything now other than that. That would be the that would be the colour that I would be sending off now at, at the end of the digital intermediate process. That's not to say that this um, that this image isn't going to be subject to further colour correction. It just means that we've now got perfect tone and colour balance, or I say perfect as near as uh, as near as damn it to perfect colour and tone balance by first by defining the black and the white values and then by selecting an area of skin tones that uh, that reflects the sort of where the eye is going to be drawn to on this particular image and then um, and then balancing those up okay so that's the end of this tutorial hope you found it useful if you haven't used the grade node before the grade node is by far the most commonly used uh, color correction uh, node in uh, in nuke extremely versatile extremely flexible and uh, and by you know certainly get used to using it because it is the lifeblood of compositing in this program okay so that's the end of the tutorial